Welcome everybody, this is a reading for the General Collective. I'm using the Oracle of Seven Energies of the Seven Reads. Thank you, thank you for watching my channel. If you want, you can support my channel by clicking um, like, share or subscribe button. I hope you will do that, that you will support me and my channel. Today, um, I hope this reading will give you a lot of insights and a lot of clarity. I'm going to do a Celtic cross by this oracle, um, this oracle deck. Let's see. We have a great symphony. In the heart of the reading, we have spirit of gratitude, body and soul. We have broken open, we have a higher view, we have the power of purpose, we have let it go, we have um, endless possibilities, we have the be uh, beautiful uncaging, we have uh, quitting the mind and we have close encounters. So I think... Um, Your energy is changing. I think that um, you're hearing a different um, tune, a different sound, a different melody. Because you have changed your perspective, you have um, closed uh, a big cycle and it has transformed you. I think you went through a rebirth. At the middle we have the spirit of gratitude, so you are very, very grateful for this lesson. You have learned the lesson. I think your third eye and your crown chakra uh, has opened completely. With this number seven, uh, the number of uh, the divine, of course. What's blocking it is something uh, that is changing, changing mind, uh, body and soul, sorry, body and soul, I said mind. I think you, um, you are learning to uh, change uh, with the, um, this clover heart here. I think you are living more from the heart, you are very compassionate. Uh, you uh, have love for your body, so I think that you are eating healthy, living healthy, uh, going through this transformation. And you are blossoming again. In the past, you were broken open, um, open your, your sacral chakra and your heart chakra opens because you went through a transformation. A 28 makes a 10, a 10 is a transformation completion. You've ended a cycle with somebody. It was a difficult cycle, but you have learned uh, very much from it. Uh, with the owl, lots of wisdom, higher perspective with this higher view. Uh, and it is changing your life um, um, it has a big significance in your life at number five uh, the power of purpose this is uh, also the wheel card for me well it's bullseye so um, you are right on your path you are there where you have to be you have to let go, be compassionate of uh, this uh, difficult cycle that you have left behind. I think it was in love. I think this was a soulmate that could not uh, open up. Um, you see that here is a, a bow and this person could not communicate to you with these two birds that they had love for you and because they were emotional closed off you decided to choose for yourself with this number six it's about love self-love 
and now you are letting go of this uh, connection which brings you endless possibilities we also see here the heart chakra opening the third eye and the crown chakra uh, 38 makes 11 um, now you can uh, make more um, choices better choices from the heart uh, for your own good I think um, that there will be a change in love. I think you are um, growing, healing, and that you are prepared to open your heart again for a new love. You are quitting the mind, so you are learning to ground yourself and uh, changing that you were always thinking and overthinking, getting more grounded getting more in tune with your intuition, with your higher self. And uh, close encounters, I think that uh, there will get another transformation. I think this cage is opening up and a new love will come on your path in divine timing. What do you have as advice on this connect on this reading on this reading for the collective bearing fruit so um the divine uh, uh, is uh, giving you abundance and prosperity because you have grown in this view uh, you are this beautiful tree you have grown you have learned your lesson and now you can grow even further what else? You have healed the heart, so you are opening up your heart chakra. You are compassionate. You are forgiving of the other person. This is what has changed you. You um, learned to do that. Feeling the world. Yes, yeah, sometimes... Um, you feel all the energies of the collective, but now you are getting more balanced and more stable. You know what your energy is and what the energy is of the collective, so that you can understand more the messages that, uh, that you are receiving. With this lion card, waking the lion, um, you have awoken again. Um, with number 19 makes a 10, it's transformation number. You are fearless, you are strong. Um, it's the king of um, the jungle. You are fearless, um, determined. You can even, even face the devil with, with the um, strength card. The strength card is the only card that can defeat the devil. And the burst of magic. Yes, you went through the mud. And now you are uh, rising up uh, a rebirth. This, all this water is clear now. And you are seeing clearly and getting the messages from the divine clearly. You are seeing here the third um, eye chakra and the crown chakra. That are receiving the messages. I hope this uh, resonates. If it resonates, please like, share and subscribe. Till next time, namaste.